I were to ask myself who are the individuals I envy, high on my list would be Michael Orthofer. Michael is a man on what some would consider to be an insane quest. As someone who is trying to read every significant novel that has been written, So what's your algorithm exactly? You walk in the door, and obviously there are far, far, far too many books here than you could just paw through. Yeah. So you have some set of rules or principles that tell you where to go. Well, I do focus very much on fiction. I stop by the uh, new book table right up front. The just right fiction. Uh, oh yeah, Patty Smith is, yes. This may be one of the three I buy. The Goldfinch, Donna Tart. I was thumbs down. These signs preceding the end of the world. Which That's was a fantastic sen book. Sensational book. Isabella Allende, too yeah. sentimental, yeah. too simple. Yeah. Oh, I've uh, ordered good, this, good. but it hasn't come yet. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I've ordered it because of you, in fact. Uh, so thank you. Very good. Yeah, it's no, Cuban science fiction. Yeah. Right? Don't we all want to read Cuban science fiction? The cover, for example, if, it feels if that drippy. were at all the baby, it is very drippy. British covers are much better, in my opinion. Yes. So you've looked at this table. I take it your conclusion is you're buying nothing. Making the turn. I still making have to the see turn. The okay. So still making I the turn. I also enjoyed the Alejandro Jodorowsky. I'll put this in my maybe I will buy pile. You already have it, I take it? Uh, yes. And I usually head down the stairs for the foreign book section because they also have a quite a large selection of used French and German books. Here we have uh, the whole French, French section, which is actually a very uh, good one. They have an extensive French section. Sure. The German section is relatively limited. Some of the translations are... Uh, are bad, I think. Awful. All, yeah. no, not just bad, just, just unconscionable. Um, ah, ah, but this one you must already have. <laughs> yeah, Arno Schmidt. I do have the whole collection. Is this a good one? It's a fascinating, obsessive insight. This um, is the one that's here. It will be one of my three. <laughs> now, very it's, good, it's very three, good. three zip. I'm, I'm beating you. How about this? Can I tempt you with that? The Comédie du Pouvoir? Yeah. Have you read the No, image? I haven't. But if you read it, you can then tell me about it. <laughs> This one I've never read, classic Swiss novel, Der Grüne Heinrich. Uh, that is a good Is it good? Uh, that it means no. It. Probably I'm distracting you, so I'll give you just a minute to pick something <laughs> out, and then I'll ask you about it. Do you agree with Susan Sontag and Gombrowicz? What do you think of Pevier and their translations? What's your view of Neil Stevenson? What's your favorite Dante translation? Do you agree that the French have a better understanding of what's profound in Hollywood and American literature than we do? Very hard to, to pick. Feeling the time pressure now. The bulk of the time is spent right back there where the alphabetically all the used uh, fiction is because uh, they're the books that really are harder to find generally. The nice thing about here is that you have the old books. You have titles which are out of print. And also, I like that sort of uh, the, the fortuity of just uh, falling into something. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, almost universally unimpressed by covers. I can't like even read what the title is. Librarian. Yes, uh, problematic. The bad cover, yeah. 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 Maybe I'll make it one of my three. <laughs> I'll do some uh, triage in a moment. Now, this is a book you surely have an opinion on. I've narrowed them. No? No? No, no, I ah. shouldn't. And what is, is it the, possible that might be one of your three? Absolutely, anything in dialogue. Is, I'm, I'm easily won over. You thought we could bring Michael Orth over to the Strand and he could find something he didn't have, but in fact, reality well, is I, proving I otherwise. Can find many Not that you I want, that. of course. Well, actually, I have my fallback I have by the entrance. Okay, Michael, we've been shopping, we got our books, we were allowed three, I'm greedy, I took four. But tell us first about your favorite of the three you bought. Uh, well, I think the one I'm most curious about, because the one I know the least about, is How We Cheat Each Other by Aden Erdrum, uh, which is, it says six short stories, although at this uh, uh, weight, I think the, those are rather impressive short stories, although uh, it is, there's, there's limited writing on the page. Uh, but um, yes, you, you handed this to me. Uh, I figured it was your style. Uh, I Long think very book, much complex, puzzling, 
and also in dialogue, which I, I'm, I'm a sucker for novels and dialogue, stories and dialogue, so I'm very curious uh, about that. So I'm very pleased uh, that you did uh, pick this up and put this in my hands. My favorite of what I got, you put in my hands, more or less, and that's Arno Schmidt. It's a German book about Karl May, who is a German author who wrote a lot about the American Indians, and there's a long-standing fascination in Germany about him. And Schmidt has this magnificent work coming out in translation, I believe, in September, which you've done more to promote than anyone else. And then here's one of his weird, offbeat works about Karl May, and there it was. How could I turn it down? Uh, all right. Uh, you, you also uh, suggested this to me, Françoise Giroud, uh, La Comédie du Pouvoir. And uh, yes, this is actually more of a mystery title. So I'm, I'm very curious with uh, apparently a political novel. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm very curious to see what becomes of it. So, so. I eagerly await your review. M Train, Patti Smith. I like her music. It won a National Book Award. Uh, I saw it there. It was an impulse buy. I'd actually not bought it for over a year up until now, give or take. Uh, but here we go. That was my number two pick. Uh, amazing restraint. <laughs> uh, and my final pick was Scarlett Thomas, The Seed Collectors. Uh, she's a British author who, uh, she actually started out with a crime series, um, but she writes these wonderful uh, literary uh, novels. Uh, the End of Mr. Y is one of my, my favorites. And this actually came out in Britain last year, uh, and there was quite a bit of uh, talk and shock on the internet that she originally couldn't find an American publisher for it, even though she had done quite well with her books in America. And finally, uh, Soft Skull Press recently came out with this, and so I'm very much looking forward to reading that. And I have a Russian novel, The Librarian, surely some kind of dystopia, even though it's about a library, believe it or not. And one that you guided me to, it talked me into, Portuguese novelist Gonzalo M. Tavares, Joseph Walser's Machine, which I know nothing about except that you recommend it, and that's always good enough reason to buy. When I go book shopping, I usually take my iPad. I open it up, I look at it. This time I had Michael, iPad, never cracked it open once. Strand, I hadn't been here in 30 years. The same smell, which is wonderful. Much more consumer friendly, which has its ups and downs, but I had a great time. It's a wonderful bookstore. If you're ever in Manhattan, please do come to The Strand. The wonderful thing about uh, the Strand uh, bookstore this size is that you really, uh, you're, you're going to stumble across something no matter where you go, uh, and as I did on the various floors at the various stations, uh, and also some pleasant surprises. These were not books that I was expecting. Uh, maybe the seed collectors I might have expected to pick up, the other two certainly not, and so it's always great to come home with something which you hadn't planned on bringing home.